Hello everybody and welcome back to Moonstone Island. I have been so busy since the last episode of Moonstone Island. I have been slightly addicted to this game. I admit it. Take a look inside my house here. We have not one, but three smelters now. <laughs> she who smelt her dealt her, am I right? We have this little moonstone enchanter and I am really trying to save up for the greenhouse. I need some more moonstones so I can get that moonstone ingot and I need some more sea glass, which is a type of poop from the spirits. I will show you my spirit barn. By the way, yeah, I have a spirit barn. <laughs> And also new is I have a glider. So let's go and see everything that is new since we were last here. It is now summertime, time flies, right? And look at my little spirit posse. Yeah, I've got the fishbowl dude. I don't know what this guy's name is, Ribbit or something like that. He's the poison specialist. This guy's the water specialist. And then we have Cumulo, who is the cloud full of electricity. And then take a look in our spirit barn. We have all these spirits. We have tamed these guys and welcomed them to our spirit barn. I do have to feed them. If I don't feed them, they might leave us. So we're going to give them some food. I am hoarding the spirits. I don't know who I want to keep and who I want to let go. Oh, look, this guy pooped slime for me. Wait a minute, is that slime or poison? Oh, that's new, that's poison. Okay, that's my first poison poop from this guy. I knew I kept him here for a reason. Actually, the reason I kept him is he's level 18. I beat this guy. I tamed him. And yeah, I'm keeping him. And then there's this guy. I know he's probably not a bunny. He's some sort of that, that flower, the dandelion when it turns into a weed, right? I think that's what that is. His name is Pappas. And I think he looks like a bunny. So I've kept him around, but he wasn't really doing me a whole lot of favors in battle, so he's just kind of hanging out in the barn right now. We've got Birdbrain here, who is also a level 18. We have Burgloon. This guy was just too cute. He's very low level, but I'm keeping him for now because he gives me sparkly poop, like um, the Capacity over here. Capacity was my homie for a long time, but he is retired to the barn, at least for now. We might level him up later. And then we have Gemlin. I rolled with him for a while. And it said I had a new spirit today. I think it's this guy. Ribite, he just hatched from my egg. And it's the same one that I already have. I think we're gonna let this guy go because I have a better version of him. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we're gonna let you go. Go be with your friends. And this guy looks like he can level up. He's another one I hatched. Bebo, I think that's his name. It's the beach ball. And he's only a level five. We'll probably release him. But for now, all it costs to keep them is to feed them the fiber here. And that I'm cool with that. And then this guy, the snorkel dude, he's level 16. He's a water spirit. So I don't know who I'm going to let go. But look how big my barn is. So we're just going to keep hoarding these guys. Let me water my crop. Oh, I don't have to water my crops. That's the beauty of it. It's raining today. And we have some new summer crops here. Let's go and harvest some of these. We have our moss balls. And I need some of these seeds. This is what heals my spirits in battle during the summer. So they're very important. I need these seeds. We need to propagate some more. And it looks like we have mushrooms ready to go. Oh, wow. I think these mushrooms will do something to the enemy's armor. I'm not sure. I need to figure that out. So I am going to pause the video here and do some boring farming routines and I will see you guys in a minute or two. Oh, we have a new poop too. I forgot. Yeah, let's sell him our poison poop. He has not collected that one yet. <laughs> and let's talk to him while we're here. And let's turn in our new spirit research. We have a little bit, and he's going to give us a decent amount of money for that. Yes, analyze it. There you go, Zed. Keep up the good work. I will. So we have all the poops. These are the spirit poops we have found, and he takes the first one and puts them in cases. They are kind of pretty. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's open our pockets here. Here is our glider. We previously have been using the balloon the last you saw. That's long gone. I have also since made a broom. And then we have our glider. 
there's some other new fun things too. It's so much fun with all these tools now. Look how cool it is. It is so much faster. Whoa, it's a little bit hard to control at first. It's so much faster than, oh wait, 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 we're gonna stop here, than the balloon or the broom. It does take energy to fly it though. I see moss balls. Those are very important for healing the spirits during fights. Oh, I have not activated this yet. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And we are going to get a talisman to feed. We're going to upgrade a card and let's go ahead and feed this to, I don't know who we're going to give it to here. Let's take a look. Who needs this the most? Um, he is pretty strong. Let's take a look here. Let's feed him. And we'll get the meditate talisman. Let's see which one of Ribite's cards we want to improve. Um, ooh, I think this one, three poison and two armor because a lot of times I need the armor damage and he's not very strong on that. So let's go ahead and upgrade that one. Oh, here's the magic man. This always scares me. <laughs> kind of creepy. Let's go take a look at the magic man, what he's offering today. So whenever I beat the dungeons, I don't know if I showed you guys this before, you give him one of the mirror shards and eventually I think it's going to complete this mirror and I don't know what happens at that point, but I don't know if I have any shards to give him. Oh, I do. So our last dungeon that we beat, we got a memory shard and he's going to add it to the mirror now. Go ahead, magic man. There we go, we're slowly completing the mirror. And now, the shop. I always buy the talisman he has for sale for 400. And now we see if we want to buy any of these cards. Oh, that's actually a good one for ribite. Seven poison and then you get to draw two more cards. Yeah, I think we're gonna buy this one. <laughs> and I think that's it. Thanks, magic man. Now what we set out to do, let's go to the next island to the southeast, southwest, sorry, down here. Do we see any land? Oh, yep, here we go. We have a brand new island coming up here. Oh, and I can heal my stamina. That probably means there's a dungeon here. Usually when you see that, that means we have a dungeon. Let's explore. Now, if you look on the talisman on the top left, the little necklace thing, oh gosh, it tells you the strength of the spirits here. They're not overly strong, so I'm pretty confident we could win most fights if we need to. Let's activate this. We'll get another talisman. Um, I'm gonna add a new card. Yeah, we'll go ahead and buy that one. I like to keep a variety of talismans and then when I see a weakness during battle, I'll upgrade that spirit later. We have a level 11 here. Okay. Oh, let's go fight the level 9 instead. You never know if you're just going to fight one spirit or a whole bunch. We're going to try this guy. Oh, I think I can beat these guys. I think. Okay. So they hurt me a little bit. Also, if you notice you have blue hearts on all of the spirits that we are fighting, that means we can tame them. Currently, this is the best I have to tame with. This tames 20. This is a pinwheel flower. I'm going to go ahead and feed. Um, let's try to get rid of Long Log because he has the most HP here. We're going to use our energy and... Instead of a turn, we are going to feed him. Wow. Could that really have been that easy? Okay, I guess we tamed him. Do I want to keep him or let him go? Um, I mean, he wasn't that high of a level. I think we're going to let him go. I don't really want to keep him. Now, let's fight these guys. We have two turns left. We have two energy left. And this would cost two energy. I need to get their armor off. I think let's go ahead and take to this one. We'll stun this guy. 
and then hmm. let's go ahead and use that on this guy we damaged him pretty well and it is now the end of my turn now it's their turn and there's only one that can damage me right now because the other guy is dizzy my turn again so all we need to do is remove an armor from Fluff Fox on the right there and that will stun him. So let's go ahead and do that. So he's out for the next two turns or one turn. And we have two more energy left. I think this would be better. Although do I heal my guys? You know, maybe I do that. We're gonna go ahead and do that. That's a good card. That gives me five regenerative abilities. It didn't apply to Ribite. Interesting. Okay, so we are out. It's their turn now. Fluffox on the left is going to regain the ability to fight, and they're gonna go after Cumulo. Cumulo Regenerated, did you see that? That's a very powerful card. And that comes from, I think, Fishbow. My little guy on the left that looks like a fish bowl. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got one guy who's stunned. 15 damage, three damage, two times. Oh, that's gonna do 22 damage, whoa. That might wipe him out. Nope, <laughs> we have to do one more. And this will cost one energy. That's enough to take care of that guy. So he's gone. We beat him. And we have one energy left to spend. I don't think I need the regen. Let's do some damage. No, let's take his armor. We can stun him. Perfect. Now he's out. I have to end my turn. Just as a formality. And now I get my turn back. And he has 32 HP for me to remove. Let's see if we can do that here. Um, no, I don't need that. These are not really helpful cards. Well, I guess we have to use these two. This one is a poison card. Watch this, because it'll keep poisoning him every turn. And then we have this one to use. He's not quite dead, but I am out of energy, so we have to... Let him have a turn. Do you see how that did more damage? He did stun Cumulo. All right, we are gonna take his armor out. We're going to stun him. And now this is going to take him out. Here we go. We win it right here. And now since we have won, we did gain XP on all three of those guys. And we got a moss ball and 46 coins. Not too shabby. Oh wait, we found a moonstone. Did you see that glow? Look up by ribite there. Do you see that white glow down in the weeds? There's a moonstone there and we found it. I need one more and then I can make the moonstone ore and we can get our greenhouse. I wanna see what's up north here. Let's see what is on this island. Ooh, it's an electric island. It's doing damage to me. See that? Oh, wow. We're gonna have to be fast. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen to me. <laughs> Ooh, let's get some of this plant. It is affecting my health. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there's nothing here other than it's, it's just hurting me. There's gotta be something over here, yeah. I wanna get these plant seeds so we can propagate it. Let's get another one. I don't even know what this plant does, but it's probably important, right? <laughs> oh, there is some sort of a potion I can make to negate the effects of these electric islands. I just don't know how to make it yet. Don't have the ingredients. Let's go down to the beach area here. And, oh, here, take a look in here. 
Look at all of the different fish I have caught and I have sold. If you sell the first one of every fish to, I forget what his name is, he puts it in the trophy case. Tobin, that's right. I don't know who I want to date. He has different hooks you can buy. Honestly, I haven't figured out which one I really like. But let's go ahead and do a bit of fishing here. See if we can catch anything good. I find this easier to do with the mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and fish with the mouse here. It's so much easier. Because you have to play this little mini game. And this can be really tricky with your thumb and the joystick. Depending on your sensitivity. It's so much easier with the mouse. What we catch? And we have a jewel fish. So the fish, if you look in your inventory, the fish, they can improve your stamina. You can eat them or you can sell them. I don't know if I've sold one of these to Tobin or not. Let's go check it out. I don't know. Either way, we can sell it to him. Sell him our fish right here. Oh, wait, I had not sold him that one. So see, he just added it to the trophy case there. I don't know what happens when I sell him all the fish. We're going to stop really quickly here and double check that there aren't any resources that we would like to have. I think I picked us clean. Looks pretty empty. Oh, we have to go do that. Let's go ahead and activate this. Oh, and we have a little spirit we could fight. Go ahead and get that one. Let's go ahead and fight him. I think he's going to be pretty easy. Unless he brings his homies with him. Oh, Dusty. We're not even going to tame him. We're just going to fight him. Sorry, Dusty. You're just a little guy. I kind of feel bad. We're going to, I think, beat him in one turn here. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was super easy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dusty. We did get a Popsa plant and 12 gold for doing that. Now, let's carry on to where we were trying to go in the first place. Oh, here we go. I see an island on the radar up there. This might be very high level. Let's take a look. Oh, look at the talisman. They're pretty decent level here, and this is a poison island, so it will be hurting me a bit. Um, I don't know. Let's take that plant. An Erden leaf. I'm growing some of those in my garden. Oh, what's this? Oh, found some seeds. All right, what level are you? What level is that guy? 19? Oh dear. Oh dear. He looks kind of tough. What is that? Oh, umbrella shrooms. All right. These guys are going to be tough to beat. I'm not sure if I really want to fight one of these. What is that? A 13. Okay, we're fighting him. If it's, oh, we have a level 20 and a level 13. Oh, Marsha, Marsha's kind of cool. Should we tame Marsha? Oh, Marsha's gonna hurt us. Oh, with poison, that's not good. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Oh dear, that poison hurt. Ooh. We are gonna feed Marsha. I don't know if we can tame her in one turn here. Did it work? What even is Marsha? Okay, Marsha has been tamed. That was actually pretty easy. Let's, you know what? We're gonna keep Marsha. Now we just have the mushroom dude with four armor. I have one health left. I can't, you know what? We, oh, I can't even use that one. Let's try the poison. Okay, that didn't do anything. Right, that was the end of our turn. Now we're gonna get our butts kicked here for a second. Oh, I don't know what she did to Fishbow. Two armor, we need to get rid of four armor. Let's do this one. 
And then the only other armor card we have is this one. Let's go ahead and use this one. That's going to take all our energy, but at least they'll be stunned. And we can have another turn here. And we have 62 HP to get rid of. We're not going to be able to do it in one turn. I think we're going to use a water. That'll take off quite a bit. And then we have two energy points to spend. That one does seven. That would do... Hmm. Which will be multiplied. And then we'll go ahead and do the other nine. It's not going to be enough, but it'll be really close. So now Emo Shroom gains their armor back and comes after me. Need to get rid of that armor. We're going to do this one. But I'll get rid of a couple. And now we have 14 HP to take care of. Let's go ahead and try this and see if we can damage him with armor still up. Oh yeah, we got this. Right here. And we did it. I think that's going to do it for today. We've done quite a bit of exploring. And seen the lovely spirits that I've been hoarding in my spirit barn. I just need to get some more poop before I can build my greenhouse. That's the next big hurdle is going to be the greenhouse because as soon as summer is over, I cannot grow any of these summer flowers and plants unless I have that greenhouse. Let's just double check that we have our spirit. There we have Marth. Oh, it's Marsha. That's right. Marsha's in here chilling, hanging out with everybody. Marsha's a level 13. I don't know how many more spirits we're going to get. Can we fill the spirit barn up? That is a good question. And what spirit should I try leveling up next? It's good fun. And I can't wait to see the other islands and to level up these guys so we can beat some more dungeons and work on completing all of the quests because I have a lot of them. If you would like to hop along with me on other cozy adventures, please consider subscribing and I thank you so much for watching.